Okay, after you draw curves and all of its edit point, edit tools, the most important edit tools are here. Control point for surface and <clears throat> curves. They are here in a uh, curve edit point and they are separate also here because they are very important. If you only almost, you can undock this menu point edit. It's the first tool that you can create here. And we have two tools that curve edit points. I will be explaining the difference between them. It's, it's very easy. For example, if you draw a curve here, and after that, if you click that, you can see your control point if you click, and you can uh, change them. The default control point for uh, curve is, looks like this. It's uh, far away from the uh, curve and you can control it. In edit point, draw exactly on a, mm, a, a curve. And if you click on this and click and drag, you can extrude the surface on it. And I bring it here because you can edit both uh, surface and edit curve. Okay. As you can see in the defaults, our control point are off and you have to click on them and click in here or here to turn the control point on. As you can see, we have a few control point on this side. If you click on this, it's automatically turn on the control point or you can uh, right click on that and turn the control point off if you want it. Okay, anytime that you click, you can. But if you click on it, it's automatically uh, turn the control point on or off for you. As you can see, if you click the tool, it uh, <clears throat> tell you, please select the objects. Any, any object that you can, you can see in their control point. For example, if you go to the subsurface tool, they're interesting. Uh, for example, <clears throat> create a box here. Also, you can turn on the control point of this, okay? in any object that you want. And it's turn on always. And you have to right click to make it. Here is the show curve edit point. Click on it. You can then select the, as you can see, select the curves or sub divs for edit point display. If you click it, then right click, as you can see here, these are edit points. It's like a knot, king, knots. It's actually like a knot, it's a different slice between knots and edit point. And as you can see, the control point is on the curves, you know, on the body curve, and you can control them here. So it's very important if you go to the standard, as you can see, it has a different <clears throat> separate button here. So it is important. You can at edit curve here, interesting. And then you can right click and done. And here is the point of selected buttons. You can select a uh, object and then the point the control point off. Another interesting tool here is for sub divs. As you can see, you can turn the control point of them. If, you, as you can see, they are exactly on the surface of the sub div. Interesting. And if you turn it off with a right click, and then select it and select the control point. As you can see, the control point are the cage of the objects. But the edit care point are on the object, both for sub D and <clears throat> cares. And here you can add a control point. Here you can add a control point. It's very easy if you want to add a more control point. If you at the control point, you change the shape of the curve and the surface. Don't forget. So let's add. Click, and as you can see, point to add the control point. If you want to select, if you want to insert it in the midpoint, you can. Yes, as you can see, it automatically a snap to the midpoint, and then click. And as you can see, you can add a point here or midpoint. No, you can add a point anywhere. As you can see, the shape will be changed. Don't forget that. So in this case, we can add a point and right click to finish. Here you can add a point for, or you can remove it. It's very easy, select it, remove it. Which do you want to remove here? Which one do you want to remove there? No, so you can control point on a surface. <clears throat> add, you can add a curve or surface. Don't forget, you can add a control point for the surface. 
as you can see it's turned uh, the shading off and you can uh, <clears throat> add a control point in direction u or you can toggle to direction v it's very interesting direction v as you can see we change the shape so you can add a control point in any direction that you want <clears throat> if you want to uh, extend it to the edge or if you want to go to the middle point yes or no it's very easy as you can see you can extend it if you want with control point click extend again in this direction or this direction you can extend it or trim it if you want so as you can see we add a control point here you can go to the display and turn the um, if you don't see the ISO parameters, you can see here. As you can see, surface ice circle, you can turn it off or on here. Surface edge, you can turn it off or on. And mesh wire, if you want to turn off the curves and go down, you can turn them on or off. Or sub deep boundaries, sub deep creases, sub deep wires. As you can see, you can turn it. Don't forget to. Uh, see the display if you don't have it you can click on here and tick the displays to show this window here <clears throat> don't forget it's very important <clears throat> so you can add another thing that we have here inside the knot uh, for both surface just for curve and surface knots if you select it <clears throat> as you can see we have a knot the knots is exactly like edit curve point like this here curve edit point they are like curve edit point but a slice different between the knots are <clears throat> actually the knots are the point that the curve is changes direction okay and you can add a knots if you want it's a slightly bit different in position with the this tool as you can see if you select it you can see it or you can remove it. Another thing that is interesting is a king. <clears throat> you can add the surface if you want. It uh, looks like it's uh, it's exactly looks like the inserting the control point. You can automatically do it. You can toggle it in V direction or in the both. As you can see, you can insert a knot here. It's interesting because it has a both. You can use it if you want and cancel it and as you can see uh, instead of the control point if you turn for example edit curve of this as you can see the edit curve just for just for edit you can turn the control point uh, sorry control point uh, <clears throat> of this as you can see we have just a few control point here here you can add control point for here here and the toggle here and here so done also uh, we have a cage edit tool that you can better controlling the surface instead of the control point okay there are just for cares and uh subdivisions and any object that you want okay <clears throat> kink if you select it you can uh, break the surface and the curve the kink if you select this and add a kink what happens if you add you break the curves on a king okay the king just add a brick on that edge the old curve but as you can see we have uh, one curve here or you can for example add a kink here in uh, toggle direction in this and done and as you can see our control points are there and here you can select the this tool holding shift and as you can see oh sorry 
We break that surface on there. Okay. I don't know. It's a box. Sometimes it doesn't. We can't see the control point if you add it. Okay. I like the cage edits tool. I will explain that. <clears throat> And that's it. In the next lesson, we're going to the handle monitor and the bulge. And then we, we wait and drag mode and another thing that's it's uh, for the tool for the editing tool, control point editing tool. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.